Real quick, that was some. I love sister. Real quick, going. What's your name again? Your name, one more time, Sister T. I want to get uh, Psalms 40, 40 and 10. I want to read something for you because what what we have been taught, Sister T, what we have been taught is this image. Where's this image right here? We have been taught this image, right? Am I right? We've been taught this image. Where's that? Okay, right here. Hold this real quick for me. We've been taught this image is in the Christian church. And well, along with this came traditions like Christmas, yep. the thought on yep. what we think about God and how we worship God. Yep. Like a lot of our people, men and women, we have the thought, well, God is happy with me the way I worship him. You have your wor way of worshiping him and I have my way. Yep. But I want to go back to what you said. What you're talking about, the, it's, it's about the inside, right? I want to read something for you real quick. Read that, Psalms 40 and 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 10. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. This is one of the prophets of the Lord. Who is this? I believe it's King David speaking. He says, I have not hid thy what? Thy righteousness within my heart. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. Your heart refers to your mind. So again, when it goes back to what the Bible says, it could not be just a thought of following God. It has to be with an action. Because he's a God that weighs action, correct? Noah believed God. What did he do? Yeah. Noah yeah. believed in God. He yeah. built an ark, right? Yeah. Yeah. So not only he believed in mind that it was going to rain, he built an ark yeah. that followed behind his faith, right? Yeah. Abraham believed, so he left one land and went to another, right? Because that's what God told him to do. That's what you have to do, sister. If you believe in God, I have to show forth your action. And guess what? I don't want you to think that I'm putting you on the spot. If you feel uncomfortable, I put the mic down. But I put, I'm putting it on the mic. So everybody can understand because we all have this mentality. Talking to individuals before I got up here, we all think that it's about what's in the inside. It says, I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. Read on. I have declared thy faithfulness. I have declared thy faithfulness. Read on. And thy salvation. And thy salvation. What are some of the ways that a woman and a man is supposed to declare their righteousness? Give me the book of Titus chapter 3. I'm going to show you your role according to the Bible. Titus 2, I believe it is. Titus. Titus 2. Read that. I want to start at verse 1. I'm going to read for you and I'm going to address the woman. We all have roles in this Bible. There's no free will. I'm going to tell you, the only the choice that God gave man is, and I'm speaking of masculine, talking about woman. Fear him, keep his commandments, and live, or break his commandments and die. We don't have free will. We have to put out the understanding that the churches gave us. There's no many ways to seek God. There's only one. It tells you about a broad way that leads it into destruction and a narrow way to, that enter into the gate. Which path are you following? That should be the question that you're asking. If you're doing everything that the world is doing, what separates you from an atheist? You understand that? Ask yourself that question. What separates you from an atheist? Atheists, do, they do Christmas. They don't believe in God. Are you following the ways of an atheist? Yeah, you are. But Billy Cabrera, a lot of people I don't believe in God, but they're doing it. What Again, what separates you from darkness? How do you match up if you are a believer of God? You got to go back to the word of God. I'm going to start with the role, sis. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back to you. I want to hear everything you got to say, but I want to address it with the Bible. You understand that, right? Let's read the role of a man first. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. It says, speak the things which become sound doctrine. This goes for the sisters as well. The things that come out of our mouth is supposed to be sound doctrine. That's what we're supposed to speak. And guess what? The music that our brothers, and our young brothers and sisters listen to, that ain't sound doctrine. It's promoting the violence that we see in Chicago and every, every, every other city. What are we doing about it? to counteract that, that negative communication. We gotta stop our children from listening to it. 
Our communication has to be sound. Season with salt, as the scriptures read. Read. But so guess what? Here's another thing that I, I heard growing up. We as adults, we got to stop telling our daughters and our sons just live life. There's many fish in the sea. Go out there and have fun. Don't, stop, don't settle down at a young age. That's whoredom we're teaching our children. The Bible says marriage is honorable and all. That word is ancient nowadays. You don't see marriages like you used to see them back then. Now it's all about thoughts. It's about, you know, the other terms that we call our women. That's not supposed to be named among us. When the nations looked at us back then, being that we are the Israelite sister, they said these are our wise and understanding people. You know why? Because we carried ourselves with dignity. That's what we got to get back to. That's what the brother was telling you. These sisters were dressed like this, not because of oppression. The slave master ain't telling them to put that on. That's the dignity we came over with. Right. Because we have been already, all, we be keeping those traditions yeah. of dressing modestly because that was already recorded in our records. This Bible ain't no white man book. Yeah, they didn't right. give it to us. They stole the records. And now all of a sudden it's amazing now when we pick it up, they want us to put the Bible down now and go back into, or uh, go into Muslim or Egyptology. These are your records. That's right. I can show you what happened to you in slavery and say, that pinpoints you to the Israelites. That ain't, that ain't happening to African Americans. Those were Israelite slave ships happened to. Yokes of iron happened to. You so-called blacks and Hispanics, you are the Jews that the Bible speaks of. And when Christ come back, he's doing nothing different than Moses, what Moses did in Egypt. He's coming back to deliver you. The question is, are you ready? How do you prepare yourself? We're going to... That ain't in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. You understand that? That's what I was telling you, sis. We got to separate the doctrine that came with man. That's the fear and doctrine of man. You don't read about what God told or Christ told you to connect with the universe. He said he's the way, the truth, and the light. Follow him. He kept Passover. He kept the Feast of Dedication. You ever heard of those days? You ever heard of the Sabbath day? God is the universe. Have you ever heard of the Sabbath day? Sis, you ever heard of the Sabbath day? When is the Sabbath day? Today is the Sabbath. When the Are you keeping the Sabbath day? Did you buy that today? No, I didn't buy this today. When did you buy that? About um, three, four weeks ago. You bought ice three, four weeks ago. Oh, I you... thought you were talking about what I have on. No, no, that in your cup. I just bought that, yeah, today. That's an example of what I'm telling you, sis. Today is the Sabbath. Do you understand what we're supposed to be doing on the Sabbath? Before you read Titus, let's get some laws about what is today. Because we've been separated from that. Bring it out. You understand that? Yeah. Sunday ain't the Sabbath. Right. They lie to us. Right. They turn everything upside down. Right. Not a man don't want to become a man. He wants to become a child. Right. Or yet a woman. Right. Or the woman wants to become a man. The roles are switched. Right. The adult wants to become a child. The child wants to become the adult. No. Right. What are we going to do about it? I'm going to keep saying that. Because we not only got to look at the problem, we got to find the solutions. Because that's our job as men. You understand that? We got a standard to set. We see what's going on in Chicago. We're not going to keep quiet about it. Chicago is a problem here. We ain't out here for no parade. We out here to fix the problem that's in Chicago. We ain't going back to sleep with no parade. We out here to bring God's solution. Let's get this about the Sabbath. Bring it out. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. God say, remember the Sabbath day, because apparently we forgot it. Remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. How do you keep it holy? What is holy? The word holy. That's what they told you. Now you ain't talking about rest and go to sleep. Rest from your labors. Yeah. We're going to read it. Remember the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. Read. Six days shall thou labor. Six days shall thou labor. Pay attention to this part. Brother and sister, read. And do all thy work. And do all your work. Read on. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Is that today? Yeah. What does that mean now? Give me the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out. What does that mean? I don't work on Saturdays. I rest on Saturday. I don't work. That's why I said I'm going to explain it. Because I know you, you probably you don't not, probably know what it means. Not rest. I'm going sh to show you what it means. When it says do all your labors. What does that mean to the people that's setting up businesses? Read that. Or for you. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear. And if the people of the land bring wear, meaning clothing, read. Or any victuals, or, or any victuals, read. On the Sabbath day to sell. If they bring it in on the Sabbath day and they're trying to sell it to you, 
What is the commandment that God gave us? Read. That we, that what? That we, being holy, read, would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. That's a commandment from God. So what you have to do is repent from your sins, sis. What you did, I did it. I didn't know today was the Sabbath, but now you heard it. It's time to turn. Let's go back to Titus. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 1. But speak thou... Hey, y'all brothers can walk through. I got questions for y'all, too. I got questions for y'all. Hey, brothers, pray. You're going to be out here all day. Let me ask you a question. Come back, brother. Come back, brother. Let me ask you a question. I got a question for both y'all. Because he walk off, you're going to walk with him. I want both of y'all to come back. Come here, come here. Hey, stop it. Y'all going to get that little piece of information. Give me that. Give me that. That's Isaiah. Five. Come on. Come on to the front. Hold up. Don't slide out for me, brother. I see you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Give me that, Isaiah 58. The book, hey, brother in the red shirt, I'm talking to you, brother. Give me your attention just for a moment. Give me your attention. You go rush to go to the break. To the store? Huh? Give me a minute, and I'm going to explain that for a minute. I understand. Somebody told me the same thing. I'm going to put your business on the mic, but I'm going to explain to you what's going on with that whole conversation that you're talking about. It ain't of God, brother. Right. I'm gonna be honest with you. It ain't of God that's gonna lead you straight to hell. That's give me a give me a second, I'm gonna show you the laws of God. Brother, you special than that. You have a nation, not a team. You understand? There ain't no team of you get this corner, I get this corner, these are my partners. Brother, we are all the same people. Look what we doing to each other. I want you to hear me, brother. You might never heard this the way I'm speaking to you, but guess what? It's the truth. Right. Brother, I love you. And let us do, do, do you know the reason why we speak like this? Because we don't want to see y'all young men perish. Yes, yes, There's right. too many of us dying in the streets of Chicago. Yes, so that's why we come out here to say what we're saying, brother. Drop up. that mess. It's not going to help you, brother. We got to elevate our people yes, right. with the knowledge that God has implanted it in your spirit. You know what you're doing, ain't what you're following is wrong. But nobody never told you that. So I'm here to shake you up. To wake you up, put down that mess, brothers. Bring it up. Let's Hold up, brother. Give me a second, I haven't read the scripture yet. Read that real quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 13. You got a cross on your neck, right? That, that means you believe, right? Brother, come here, I want to share with you one description. They are gonna be here, you'll see them again. Brother, I want to share with you, you might not hear this again. You understand that? We don't know when God is gonna call us. Listen to the message, brother. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, the Sabbath is today, like I was going over with the sister. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. Yep. Today, we oh, every store you see on this corner is yep. supposed we'll to be go. shut down. Yep. That's right. And you know what? You you know when you come in part of that? If you still so open, you say, where are you going? That's the, that store is supposed to be shut down. Nobody yep. going up in there. Yep. Right. That's what God commanded you. Direct your people. Right. If you say sin, you're supposed to say something about it. But we lost that way. We've been put on the bottom, and we chose to stay on the bottom. But brother, we're trying to revive the dry bones out here. Brother, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. The blood that ran through your veins, ran through Christ's vein. Christ is your great-great-grandfather. Those are your descendants. You understand that? Christ never looked like this right here. You understand that? Christ looked like you according to the Bible. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. Read that real quick. Just finish this off, and I'm going to get revelations. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day. What is one of our pleasures on the Sabbath day? This right here, what you see out here. They do this every year to put us back to sleep. Brother, let me ask you a question. I'm going to get straight to the point now. Do you see, how, what's your name, brother? Dre, Dre, Jay. What's your name, brother? I'm Kabosh, I'm Kabosh. Nice to meet you, brother. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a serious question. Do you see that there's a problem in Chicago? Do you see there's a problem? I'm going to ask you the question again. Do you see there's a problem in Chicago? What's some of the problems? Huh? Okay, now let me ask you another question. This is going to bring me back to what I was saying. What do you do? Do you see there's a problem that you want to fix? We got to come together with what? Wearing the same colors? Black people, we Represent together. one block as what? How do we come together? I'm a young brother. I lost my way. I'm coming to you for advice. How do we come together? I'm talking to you too, brother, in the red. The reunion. How do we come together? Unity. Unified. Talk. Compassion for one another. Okay. Are you doing that? 
Give me the book of uh, Judah, chapter 8, verse 24. I'm going to show you what God told us, commanded us to do. Since you know there's a problem, you agree that Chicago is a mess. How we dying every day, 66 people shot, 11 dead, over the one week. Y'all don't see that's a problem? Yeah. Brother, there's a war going on. Are you going to go to sleep or are you going to stand up for your people like you just said you we should do? I'm going to show you what God said before you leave. You, you answer. You want to leave, but I want to show you something real quick. Give me that real quick. The book of Jude 20, uh, 8, 24. Read that. The book of Judah, chapter 8, verse 24. Now, therefore, oh brethren. Now, therefore, oh brethren. Read on. Let us show an, an example. To the commandment was, let us show an example. Example, read to our brethren, to our brethren, because their hearts depend upon us, because their hearts depend upon us. These young brothers, they looking up to you. They seeing you walking up and down the street. You got to be the example. Do you understand that? You got to be the example. Right. God is calling you today, brother. God is calling you to be a part of this army that he's raising up. It's time to do some work in Chicago, brother. Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.